On the money tonight, target Walmart. You've heard all the complaints, but you won't believe what some critics are urging shoppers to do. Is this corporate terrorism? And coming up on the money. Nightmare for Walmart. Tips for torturing the giant retailer. We'll ask the man who suggests hijacking their intercom if it's really just corporate terrorism. Also tonight. Bashing Walmart has become an art form, but you won't believe who's taking on the retail giant now and the crafty way they're doing it. Well, as we told you earlier, a California jury tonight awarding $172 million to thousands of employees at Walmart stores who sued, saying they were denied lunch breaks. Also from the Walmart file, running amok in stores coast to coast, there is a group called PhoneLosers.com, and they're taking a new approach to attacking Walmart by using pranks. In one scam, a group hijacked the phones at one Walmart, actually taking calls from some unassuming customers. Take a listen. Yes, by any chance, do you have any Christmas bows in blue? Hello? Hang on. How far away are you? Um, I'm in the city. You're in the city? Mm-hmm. Why don't you just drive out here and look? Um, excuse me. Uh, who do you, I'm a customer. I don't care. You haven't bought anything yet. You're not a customer. Hey, wait a minute. Do you know me? I don't care. I don't want to know you. Oh, I'm going to have you fired. Good. Get me fired. My name's Steve. I hate this damn job. Joining us now, Brad Carter. He runs PhoneLosers.com and the Anarchy at your local Walmart page. Uh, Brad, uh, how'd you come up with this idea? Well, um, there was a couple sites already on the internet in the late 90s, and uh, we just kind of put the lists all together and made one big, easy-to-read site where people can submit things. And, so, the, you know, so. and the list, I have looked at the list, it's actually quite lengthy. It, it's a, a wide variety of pranks from perfume bottles to computer screens. I, I'm curious, for the phone prank, how it is you got past to the store security to be able to take that call or whoever it was that did that? Uh, we just kind of drifted from department to department and picked up the phones as the calls came in and recorded them from the store. We have an, another call, somebody listening, for, for calling, I should say, for directions. I want to let everybody get a, a chance to hear this. Okay. I'm calling to, uh, to get directions to how to come to your store. Okay. And I'm coming down south. So, uh, where, would I, where would I get off? What road? We're two blocks from Martha Stewman's house. Who is Martha Stewman? I don't know her. Stewman. She, she lives in the yellow and brick house. No, come on, guy. I want correct directions to how to get to the store. Oh my if this reminds me of some of the morning radio where they, they are, uh, the, the prank call is one of the favored uh, choices for morning radio entertainment. However, uh, there is also legal and certainly ethical issues uh, associated with either destroying property or, in, or presuming to be an employee when you are not. Uh, where is the line between prank and the law? Um, we just kind of uh, didn't think about that. We were just kind of having good fun at the time. We did all this in the mid-90s. How, how did you take over the overhead paging system? Uh, we discovered the, the paging code that they used to get on the paging system. And we called in from the outside and asked them to transfer us to that extension. And that put us on the overhead paging. And we were able to stay on for hours just telling jokes and singing and pretty much anything we wanted to say on the air. Now, on the how much of this was for fun, and how much of this is because you have a, a particular um, issue with Walmart? Um, I, I'd say more or less it's pretty much all for fun. It, it's, I don't have anything personally against Walmart. I, I don't like them too much, but, you know, I, I just, we, we did it all for fun. It's sort of one of those, because you did it because it was there. It's interesting, we, we called Walmart and asked them for a comment. They were not familiar. Um, with your activities, and so they didn't give us a comment, although I imagine they were curious to, to watch their televisions tonight. Brad, a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.